Hello everybody and welcome to today's tutorial. Um, today we're going to be working on our third part of this tutorial series. So today, as I said before in the last tutorial, we'll be working on the saving and loading of our store. So the first thing we want to do is we want to go over here to our global and here we're going to actually tell this store what to say. So now, we're going to make it um, a dictionary. And here in the dictionary, we're going to just make a variable called what, and it's going to be a an array of like a list or something. Okay, so sorry that this um this bot is meant to be in quotes there. Okay, so now the if you're not familiar with dictionaries, just want to tell you what a dictionary is. A dictionary is practically a variable that contains other variables. Okay, like now this is a variable. That contain whatever I put in this list brackets here. Um, I pretty much think that that's very basic for you to understand. But if you don't understand, always you can leave it down in the comments or join my Discord and we answer you from there. So um, here in the bot, we're actually going to say um, since we're going to be assigning this according to the numbers. Okay. So now this is our first. Um, our first player okay so we always have this guy well if you didn't notice I changed this guy to select instead of buy just have to do that okay so here we this is this guy is gonna have um, the first list this guy is gonna have the second um, index in the list and this is gonna have the third index in the list so here in the bot sorry in the global I'm just gonna be assigning this to it so now the first guy, since we already have him, he's going to have a true. Okay, so that means we're already bought him. Then the second guy and the third guy will have false because we haven't bought them yet. Okay, so now we go back to the character, and here we want to say global dot bot sorry the store dot bot. This one's a good prototype for you have to type it completely by yourself then here we have a list since um, the global here is a list then we have we want to pick a particular array in this list so that we can buy it okay so now this is where some things are gonna get tricky now we're gonna set it to equal to true okay so here um, we're going to be adding another another variable to this um, list okay sorry to this function sorry I just have to um, remove that code here I'm gonna put it later so now the other variable we're gonna be adding to this function is gonna be the item number variable so now this variable is actually what is going to get the numbers for us the numbers that we want okay the particular um, node that we want so to do that we we can just pass in um item number here and over here they will ask us for an item number as i said before this is where it's going to get tricky we're going to say one okay and here is going to be a two so now why are we doing this um if you know well about arrays you know that this index is one and this index is two and this is three so now, since we want to get the second one for the button two first, we want the first index and the second and the third one will have the second index. I think what I just said makes sense, but to me it does. Well, if you have if you have any questions, you can leave it down in my Discord or hit me up on Instagram or Facebook. I'll be happy to help you. Okay, so here, since we already have one and here two. Then we can just pass in item number here. So it's going to say the first item number. We're going to set it true, and here we're going to say global dot save store. So um, hint, quick hint. Always save your stores. Sorry, always save your your variables after you manipulate them. Every time after you manipulate them. Like now, if I have like if I want to say um, global dot whatever 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 equals to this. I can just go down to the end of the code and just say and store all of them at once 
rather than going one by one okay so you just store all of them at once and before you get any variable make sure you make sure you load it so about all good so um when we just tap the button we're going to load the store okay i think that should be all and another thing we want to do is now it's actually going to save it as um, the item number to true and that should be it then another thing we want to add is uh, since we want um, when we click the buy we want the node there to click um, to, to the text here to change to select what we are going to do is we're going to do that with code so now all note that everything here in the if statement means that we actually bought it and now what we're going to be doing is we're actually going to be getting the node again this is where it's going to get tricky um when we want to get the node you note that we are not just getting any random node you know what we're going to be doing is we're going to say um get sorry first thing um, we want to make a variable so we say unready bar and we're going to say panels i'm going to call this variable panels i'm going to call them and it's going to be the um the control node okay the control node that contains all our panels over here so here yeah, we're going to be saying um we'll just say panels dot get node dot get node so now we don't actually want to get one particular node so we want to get um different nodes okay since we're using only one function so what we're gonna say is panels sorry panel and this panel if you notice there is no node that is actually called panel in this so we're gonna say plus string item number item number plus one so what this is gonna be doing is if okay for example we press the second one, the second button. It's going to get the panel. Sorry, um, it's going to have an item number of one. Okay, so now it's going to get this panel. Um, dot get node is going to get the panel node. Okay, plus the panel node plus the item number which is one plus one. So that will give us a two. So it will now give us panel two. Do you get me? Um, if you don't, again, leave a question. And well, that's pretty much all. That this is one of the reasons why I told you guys to name all your nodes um, the same thing. Like here, you have button, button, and button. So we'll just say the get node, the get node, um, which is going to be the button. The, the, make sure um, you get that case right, capital B. Okay, dot text should be equal to um, select. I think this should do it. I, I think so. I think so. Okay, so press F1 and F5, I guess. F5. I'm going to play the game until I have enough score. Just like this. Um, like this. And why I like this system is because this function system is because when we um, just declare it for the function, it declares for all our panels at the same time. So you don't have to go panel by panel and all that stress. So here, we're going to just click by. And you can see that it turns to select. I have the select button here. So that's really nice stuff you like to do. And just to be clear. I go over here and by this guy we also have the select button there too okay so everything is going on nicely now as you could see um, when I went back to the game um, we didn't actually for example let me show you again okay and if you check now we don't we don't have these guys okay 
so that's a problem so we want when we buy we want to remain bought okay so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna make the ready function sorry uh, um also right, when we make this ready function first thing we're going to do is say global the load store okay so when we load this store we want to get the variables in this store so as you can see here um we have a false and a true and whatever so here i want to say if um sorry say for panels you know we'll say for um for item in panels dot get underscore child count okay well i'm just gonna put this in a range range function and just tell you what this is doing so if you're familiar with for loops you know you you most likely understand what i mean but if you're not um, we actually created a variable by saying for item okay so item is practically a variable that can only be used in this form then the range is um, actually is actually the number of um, the range is the number of children in our panel so as you can see here is five but we're not actually going to be using the five since we have only three so it's going to start by zero one and two okay there is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and not 5. Okay, so we're gonna actually say minus 2 since we really want to get 0, 1, 2. Right, yeah, pretty much. So, what we're gonna be doing now is we're gonna copy this line of code and, and paste it here. Well, well, the problem is, um, wait, there's a problem, okay item number here it's just the item item yeah item plus one so when we have a zero okay when it gives us a zero um from the range we add one to it as panel one okay panel two and panel three okay um sorry panel one and panel zero one and two i guess i think so yeah panel zero one and two so um the well the problem here now with this code is that uh, the panels is just going to look through um all the panels in this guy and it's going to change his um uh, its node its select node whether it's bought or not so we're gonna change we're gonna fix that so if it's not bought we don't want it to be select so what we're gonna say is if global dot store dot bot um and as I said before this is an array so it's an item and it's gonna if this guy is equal to true then we want to do whatever is in this code. Okay, so basically I'm done. I'm gonna check this by hitting F6 and you will most likely notice that all of them have select now because the, in the previous tutorial sorry in the previous um some time ago actually made them actually bought them okay so we're going on 40 minutes so I think about um before 20 minutes I'm gonna end this video so now um you can also go to your um open project that uh, and we're going to actually delete that file so that I'm going to start again and show you. Okay, so I'm going to permanently delete it and I'm going to hit F5. I'm going to shoot this guy um, a bit. And here, you notice that since I deleted the file, we have by here. So I'm going to buy this. I don't know why this keeps happening, but it just does. Okay, so I'm just going to exit this and hit F6. And you'll notice that this guy has select and this guy is still by. So 
that's what we want to show you. That's all. Um, I think that should be all for this for this function. Now we have to check on the selected function. So now what we're gonna be doing is that we're gonna be wrapping all this inside under that if statement. And that if statement is actually gonna check if I bought it or if I bought it or not. So if um if if um global dot store dot bot um but yeah um item number item underscore number plus one okay no just item number if it's equal to false that means if i've not bought it then we are now allowed to buy it so if we have bought it um sorry if we have bought it yeah we're gonna say else and for now we're just gonna hit pass Okay, so we're actually going to check if everything we've done is correct and from what I'm seeing it's perfect. So now in the else statement we're going to make another function. Well this is actually um, going to be optional for you but I just want to make it. So you say font underscore um, selected. Okay, so this is not a built-in function you can just pass in whatever you want but um, you can just name it whatever you want. So this is actually going to have some variables okay no actually only one variable so we say the variable the node so here we say underscore selected and here we're going to actually just copy this node onto it okay so we say control c and we're going to paste it in here so this is the node that we want to get okay i'm going to save this guy and over here in selected, we're just gonna get rid of this. So now what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna just be setting node.txt to equal to um, selected. Okay, so that should be all. I'm gonna save this. I run it. And yeah, when we click this, selected, when we click this, okay, nothing there for now because we haven't actually set it. Well, I'm just gonna shoot some of these guys so I can get enough cash to buy the other guy. Yeah. Okay, and we're buying selected. Yeah, we have selected, yeah, we have selected. So the problem is now that we have two selected and we won't want to fix that. Well, I think I'm running long. So we're going to fix that in the next tutorial, so in part 4, we're going to fix that, so stay tuned, um, if you have any questions, leave it down in the comment section below, or you can join my discord, or you can hit me up on Instagram, or you can hit me up on Facebook, so please leave a like, um, subscribe to this channel, thank you, and goodbye.